from Force 13 HQ. This is May 27th, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Regular updates resume at midnight UTC on May 27th. There is one invest active and no cyclones active at this time. The tropics have been legitimately dead for a long time, uh, but we may get our first storm in a while in the Bay of Bengal. The Indian Meteorological Department says that 94B will uh, has a over a 50% chance of developing into a cyclone and some models agree. At the moment, 25 miles an hour, 1,007 millibars, 14.6 degrees north 88 east no warnings yet in effect but there is the system's location in the bay of bengal right now um, and it's likely to take on a somewhat northerly trajectory or certainly turn towards the north even if it is stalling a little bit right now uh, its motion isn't particularly fast uh, here's what the gfs model run says over the next few days you can track it here moving towards the north and then affecting the coast there um, towards an almost a direct northward track and it looks like a significant intensity as well at least according to that one model in the atlantic ocean there's nothing going on the eastern pacific though has an area marked there at zero near zero percent chance in the next two days 20 percent chance in the next five days according to the national hurricane center in the eastern pacific out towards the open part of the ocean towards hawaii and whatnot not much going on there you can see one or two little flare-ups in the very deep tropical region but very little going on in terms of tropical activity but we do expect to see more soon the west pacific also very quiet as well only one storm has formed there so far um, but still a long way to go and there's still plenty of opportunity for a lot more storms uh, you might want to look back at 2013 also had a pretty quiet start and this is the southern hemisphere just in case we're still looking out for activity 2012 is quite a good analog right now for this area and it had a june tropical storm near the solomon islands but nothing at the moment and in the indian ocean we're putting it down as 50 percent chance for invest 94b in the central bay of bengal and you can see it flaring up in those last few frames there we'll get closer satellite imagery shortly Sea surface temperatures are pretty good right now in the eastern Pacific, as you'd expect at this time of year, particularly in that warm area to the south of Mexico, near where Adrian formed. The Atlantic is warming up nicely in the Western Caribbean at least, 28 degrees plus, and in the Lesser Antilles. And in the North Indian Ocean there, where this invest is, sea surface temperatures very warm indeed, over 30 degrees Celsius, possibly 31, and maybe even approaching 32. West Pacific warm, particularly in the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea, um, it's certainly uh, nicely poised for the season. Here's Invest 94B, a close-up imagery here from the NOAA floaters and you can see that its direction appears to be uh, more further west but that's just the convection, the actual centre of the system or the uh, near the center of the system if there is one uh, doesn't appear to be moving so quickly but we'll see what happens uh, over the next few days we do expect it will be either a slow easterly movement or towards the northeast over the next few days we don't expect uh, a landfall over that side on, onto the western side there over towards India uh, we do expect it will be eastern India uh, in the Ganges Delta or in Bangladesh um, or both Total numbers for 2017 so far, 2 depressions, 13 tropical storms, 3 category 1s, 1 category 2, 2 category 3s, 1 category 4 and 1 category 5 by our numbers at the moment. We have 4 outstanding reports though which are waiting to be finished and those uh, categorizations may change slightly. 21 total storms for 2017 so far, uh, we're 10 away from 1900, obviously that won't be too difficult to beat over the full record, it was a very long time ago and observations weren't very good back then we'll wait and see when we get to a year that we actually recognize uh, and this is where we stand with the storm names of course we've had Arlene and Adrian in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific the next names are Brett and Beatriz in the Central Pacific the next name is Wallaka and we then move back onto list one where it's Akoni. Murbok is the next name in the Western Pacific after we used Muifa, Namadol after that and in the North Indian Ocean looks like there's an over 50% chance of Mora being our next storm uh, within the next five days after that it's list seven and Oki. Hilda's next in the Australian region, Gavakil in the Southwest Indian Ocean should there be any late season activity but we doubt it and in Fiji, uh, the Fiji area it's Fahi. That's all for now. We'll be back tomorrow. 
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F O O L 1 3 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>